Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Usman and today we are going to talk about the joints of thoracic bone. So as we know, there are several bones in our thoracic wall like ribs, sternum and vertebrae. There are several joints made between these bones so that in respiration our chest can move and we can accommodate expanding lungs. That's why Allah Ta'ala has uh, made so many joints to assist in the movement of thoracic bones. So uh, we will study these joints one by one. As you can see here, the joints are listed in front of you. Uh, we have the intervertebral joint. Uh, then we have the costochondral joint, the uh, costovertebral joint and costochondral joint, interchondral joint and sternocostal joint, sternoclavicular joint, and manubriosternal joint, and zephysternal joint. Uh, don't worry, these uh, names are quite self-explanatory. As you can see here, the intervertebral joint, uh, vertebral joints means the joint between two vertebra. The costovertebral joint between uh, means the joint between costo means ribs. And vertebral means vertebrae so it's between uh, the rib and vertebrae then we have costochondral joint uh, it is between rib and the cartilaginous part intercondral control joint means between it means between uh, the cartilaginous parts of rib inter mean between sternocostal joint uh, which is between uh, sternum and the costal, uh, costal cartilage and sternoclavicular joint it is between sternum and the clavicle manubrio sternal joint between manubrium part of uh, and sternum and zephy sternal joint which is between sternum and zephoid process so let's study these one by one first of all let's start with intervertebral joint the intervertebral joint is between the vertebras and in thoracic wall we will study the vertebras which are thoracic vertebras and that include the t1 to t12 uh, the joint between the vertebrae is symphysis type of joint or secondary cartilaginous type of joint uh, it is present between the adjacent vertebral bodies. This is the body of vertebra, as you can see here. And it is present between the bodies of two vertebra. Okay, and we have an intervertebral disc between them. We have intervertebral disc between the, in the intervertebral joint. Okay, so the intervertebral disc have more parts like vertebral plate, annular fibrosis, and nuclear pulposis. The central part is called nuclear pulposis, and the uh, peripheral fibrous part is known as annulus fibrosis. Okay, and vertebral end plate means it is toward the vertebra body and it's in contact with that. So this joint is intervertebral joints and it is present between all the vertebras that's why it is called intervertebral joint uh, the ligaments which we have here are mainly the anterior uh, anterior longitudinal ligament this one this is anterior longitudinal ligament and we also have a posterior longitudinal ligament which is present posteriorly okay the other ligaments are also present and they are mainly involved between in the joints between the transverse processes of uh, these vertebrae, which we will study later. The main movement which occur at these joints is mainly a small degree of rotation. That's all. They are not very mobile joints, so only small degree of uh, uh, rotation can occur on these joints. The next joint uh, which we have is costo 
vertebral joint as the name suggests it is between the coaster like ribs and trans and uh, uh, vertebrae okay so it mainly have two parts actually there is a joint between the head of the rib the head of the rib and the trans uh, and the vertebrae as you can see here it is a joint between the head of rib and vertebrae so it can be with one vertebrae or two vertebrae so there are two uh, varieties here so the joint uh, between the head of rib and the vertebrae directly and then there is a joint uh, between the transverse process of uh, the vertebrae and the transverse tubercle of rib so this joint is known as costo transverse joint so the costo vertebral joint include two joints so these are synovial plane joints and there are some ligaments which are present here that include the costo transverse ligament and costo transverse ligament and lateral costo transverse ligament okay and there are also radiate and intraarticular ligaments of heads of rib that which are present here there is radiate and interarticular ligament as you can see here interarticular ligament and there is also a radiate ligament okay so talking about the movement these are not very mobile joint and usually the head of first 11th and 12th rib articulate only with the vertebral body of the same number so this is a variation the heads of first 11th and 12th rib mainly articulate only with vertebral body of same the same number like if it's 10th rib it will it will not uh, communicate with what 11th and 10th vertebrae if it will only communicate with 10th vertebrae so this will be these two joint will not this joint will not be present it will be communicating directly with its own numbered vertebrae whereas the 11th and 12th rib do not articulate with the transverse process, uh, processes of same vertebrae so 11th and 12th rib they don't make a costo transverse joint so this was all about the costo vertebral joint the next joints which we are going to talk about are the costo chondral joint the interchondral joint and sterno costal joints so talking about the costo chondral joint it is a primary or hyaline cartilaginous joint it is present between the lateral ends of costal cartilage so these are the lateral ends of costal cartilages and the sternal end of the rib so this end is the sternal end of the rib whereas this end is the lateral end of costal cartilage so these colored in blue are all costal cartilages it is held together by the bone uh, which and the periosteum it is actually the periosteum is continuous what is periosteum periosteum is covering of a bone so they hold together by the periosteum which is continuous over the costal cartilage and the rib uh, there is usually no movement uh, which is happening at this joint as they are cartilaginous joint uh, the main mainly the costal cartilages are actually cartilaginous so they provide the flexibility the flexibility to the uh, the thoracic cage the next joint is interchondral joint as the name suggests it is present between the costal cartilages so this is the sixth costal cartilage and this is the seventh costal cartilage and this is the eighth and ninth and so on okay so this joint is present between sixth and seventh 
coastal cartilage and then it is present between 7th and 8th coastal cartilage and then 8th, 6th and 7th, 7th and 8th and 8th and 9th and coastal cartilage. Okay. And here we have some intercontral ligaments which are present here as well. And we must know that the articulation between the coastal cartilage of 9th and 10th rib is fibrous. So, 9th and 10th rib is fibrous. Okay. So, next we have sternocostal joint. At the sternocostal joint, it actually have two types of joint. Uh, the one is which is present between the first coastal cartilage and manubrium. So, this is the manubrium. Uh, this part is a manubrium and this is the sternum and then we have xiphoid process okay so the first joint which is present between the first coastal cartilage and the manubrium is it's a type of cartilaginous joint and it is called synchondrosis type of joint okay so whereas the other joints which are present between the second to seventh coastal cartilages and the sternum, they are simple synovial plane joint. Okay. So there are some ligaments which are present here as well. They are anterior and posterior radiate, a sternocostal ligament and intra-articular ligament. Now Let's talk about sternoclavicular joint. As the name suggests, it is present between the sternum and the clavicle. So, this is clavicle which is colored in blue and this is manubrium of sternum which is colored yellow. Okay. So, this is the joint which is present between the clavicle and the sternum. And as you can see here, this is a joint which is uh, actually divided into two compartment by the articular disc okay this is the articular disc which is dividing into it into two compartments okay so the sternoclavicular joint is a type of saddle joint okay it is a saddle type of synovial joint actually so now uh, let's talk about the ligaments so the ligaments which are present over here are interarticular ligament, uh, sorry, interclavicular ligament, which is colored uh, yellow, and then we have anterior sternoclavicular ligament, uh, which is in this uh, reddish and pinkish color, and then we have the costoclavicular ligament. Okay. So these are the ligaments which are present at the sternoclavicular joints. Lastly, let's talk about the joints which are present on the sternum. And that, as we already had discussed, the sternum have three parts. One is manubrium, then we have the body of sternum, and then we have xiphoid process. Okay, so we have xiphoid process, we have the body of sternum, and we have manubrium. So the joint between the manubrium and, and the body of sternum is known as manubrio sternal joint okay and it is a scantry cartilaginous joint or symphysis type of joint okay and the joint which is present between the body of sternum and the xiphoid process this joint is called xiphy sternal joint this joint is called manubrio sternal joint and this joint is called xiphy sternal joint and it is a primary cartilaginous type of joint or synchondrosis type of joint so this is synchondrosis or primary cartilaginous joint whereas this joint this joint is a secondary cartilaginous or symphysis type of joint it is important to know that mostly these joints Manubrio sternal and xiphy sternal joints, it fu these fuses with the body of sternum and become synostosis joints. 
and what do I mean by that? Stenostosis is uh, just a fusion of uh, bones together. So that's what happened in the uh, sternum and sternal joints, which be which will become continuous and will fuse together. So this is the ca the case which is mostly happen uh, happening in the older individuals. Okay. So I hope you are able to understand all the different joints which are present in the thoracic wall. Uh, if you have any kind of difficulty, please let me know or uh, you can ask your respective uh, tutorial teachers. And that was all for today. Until the next time, stay safe and stay home.